Welcome to today's episode of Arts and Crafts with Kim. In this episode I will be showing you how I made this seashell hanger. And these are the tools that I used. In this video I used oyster shells that I got from someone who had them for dinner. But you can use any kind of shells you like. I let my shells sit in a bucket of warm water and soap overnight to get them clean and to get a little bit of the smell out. I think seashells are awesome to do arts and crafts with. They are easy to gather on the beach and they come in a variety of shapes and sizes and colors. Once they were clean and had dried in the sun I started drilling my holes. I had 9 shells in total. In 3 of the shells I drilled a hole in the top. In another three shells, I drilled a hole in the middle on one side and in the other three, I drilled a hole in the middle on both sides. Once I had drilled all the holes with the smaller drill, I got a bigger drill and drilled all the holes a little bit bigger. The reason I did this in two steps is because shells are fragile and I didn't want to break them. Here you can see what it looks like once the hole is the right size. Now it is big enough to fit a piece of rope through. Now I take a piece of rope and put it through the hole. For the ones that I drilled the hole in the top, I tie a knot. These are the shells that are going to hang from the middle. The shells that I'm going to be hanging in the bottom are going to hang in series of two shells. The most bottom shell has one hole in it. In these shells I will loop the rope through and then put the end into the loop, as you can see here. This provides me with an end piece and the other shell with the two holes will sit on top of this. Now it's time to gather some sticks for the shells to hang on. Whenever I gather sticks I walk through the woods and I just look at sticks that have a nice shape to them. Once I gathered enough sticks, it's time to place them all together in a shape that I like and tie them together. And this is what I came up with. I tied the corners with rope over and under, over and under. This way they are nice and secure and they will not move. Here you can see how the top shell is sitting on top of the bottom shell. I simply pulled the rope through the bottom hole and then out the top hole. Here you can see the shells that I tied together and that are hanging from the middle. And here is the final result. I am super happy with how it turned out. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I will be sure to answer them. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next one.